Greetings and salutations, my name is Deltran, doing Fire Emblem Heroes. We're taking a look at the Alm and Celica Bond battle that's available in Lunatic and it's also in Infernal, but we're going to take a look at two different tactics that you can use in Lunatic to be able to beat this map. So let's take a look at this. This team here, uh, it consists of Lloyd, Noe, I used May because there's going to be a Tempest Trial coming up that uses her and I wanted to test out the build a little bit, uh, and Cherish as well. So let's take a look here. First thing to note is that Sherish is really the most indispensable unit out of this group. That's the one that has the least number of substitutions. Uh, what we're doing in both of these videos is having a uh, double funnel here. We take advantage of both of those, pull different people to the left, different people to the right, and take care of that. Lloyd is not used severely here. He's really mainly uh, reposition uh, fodder in a way. <laughs> And that's his main role. Noe is a tank and we're going to use her resilience uh, quite a few times. She's not necessarily needed for her distant counter, although that does help and it'll help shave off hit points from different units as you're going along. So now that we have Lloyd in position taking care of that cav uh, Cavalier, we're going to go ahead and kill that Lance uh, Knight up there. That Lance Knight will cause us problems later on if we don't take care of him sooner because he has passed through. And that's very annoying. So right now, you see that uh, the uh, turn comes up, and one thing to note is that that green mage that just stepped over has wind sweep. So whenever that gets triggered, basically it means you don't get to counterattack. So if you are trying to use range counters or mages or other shenanigans there, be careful. Now one other thing to note is the fact that we are so far back with Sherish and May. May's drawback is incredibly useful in this battle, being able to reposition her. Of course you can use Nunu. Uh, but there's a, a reason why I wanted to use May other than to just test her, but for the most part we kept away from Celica, who is a nuking mage, and she would definitely shred Nunu if given the chance. So a blue tank, uh, somebody that can take out that blue mage and has reposition, and then really a heavy hitting green unit that has drawback. That's what this team's comprised of. The, uh, I mean drag back rather, and a mage that has drawback. So both of those are really important, and that's how this works. Let's take a look at the second team composition here on the right. I have my Ryuma in there mainly because I wanted to show off. <laughs> he was my first five star and my second five star, which is why he's plus one. Uh, otherwise, uh, he has distant counter on him, which we do use once, but if you have a mage that can, can kill off the uh, blue cavalier on the left, and take a hit, then really that's all that matters. And of course has reposition because reposition is awesome. So we set up everything here. We put Azura at the top. She's gonna be our tank uh, for this fight. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Ryoma bait the blue uh, Cavalier. The blue mage can be baited by Ninu, not by Tharia. We're keeping her hit points nice and fresh because we're gonna use them all here in just a moment. As you see, Ryoma was able to uh, kill even across uh, colors that blue Cavalier. Everybody else got pulled up. They're over flanking to the right, which is what we want. We want them all to really funnel through one place. We just wanted to leak a few off of uh, the back end. Now we bring Tharia up there to finish off that green mage that was being uh, a pain. Le and if you're looking here saying, oh, you could do a lot more. No, that blue cavalier has passed through. If you move Azura or tell uh, Azura to move uh, Tharia again, he's going to skip right through Azura and kill your Tharia. Don't be impatient, slow down. And as you see, we're pretty much taking care of everything right here. And now that that blue knight is gone, we can go ahead and take care of business and finish it up and boom, that's all she wrote. So Ryoma here could be replaced with any uh, mage that can deal that kind of damage as reposition. Uh, you need to have uh, a blue dancer in this case. You can't use Olivia. But otherwise, that's pretty much how it goes. Hey, do me a favor, if I give you anything to think about or if I helped you out with a tactic, give me a thumbs up and let me down the, know in the comments. I would love to know your stories about things. Thanks guys, I appreciate it so much. And until next time, take it easy.